Okay, so this is the third video on making water material and yeah, basically we're just gonna turn this into a river like the one I showed you before. And to make it easier, we're gonna we're gonna start by making a spline system so that it's not just planes on planes and it's easy to easy to make. So first we're going to start off by making a blueprint, spline blueprint, simple actor, name this, um, spline, actor. okay, so in here for splines, we want to go into construction script, so it updates often, and then Let's say spline. Add a spline component, and then we can just drag that there. And then the first thing we're gonna do is make a for loop, and we're gonna get the function get number of spline points. I'm gonna need this. Okay, so. We're going to subtract 2 and put it into the last index. And then in the body, we can just do add spline match component. And this is where you add your static mesh. So for now, we could just say plane and make it um, tutorial. Water mat. There we go. Okay, so next we want to set the forward axis and X or Y, it's up to you. And then we're going to do set start and end. So we need the start tangent, start position, and the end tangent, end position. So we're just going to get this one. And say get location at spline point. And then get tangent at spline point. We want to also, oh, we just go here. We want to also get the scale so we can scale each spline point individually. And then we want to just duplicate this so that we have a start and an end. So then we just plug these up. And then for the get scale, we're just going to get the X and the Y. So we can split these and make a vector 2D. So from there, we can say Set start scale. Put that there. And add this to the spline. Not spline, what was it? Spline mesh component. And then we end the start scale. it called and set set in scale sorry Think about that and and then yeah that's it 
So once we get that, uh, we can just drag this in the world. And let's see. Okay, so something I forgot, we went to add this index and add one. And then we want to add this to here. To the bottom, sorry. We can just key this. So for the starts, regular, and then in the end, do you want to add one? That makes sense. And then, yeah, just compile that, and then there it is. So as you see, this looks really bad because we had it as a lake material. So honestly, we're just gonna duplicate this to water and make this to river. And then make an instance, and then add that here. Okay, so it's empty. I mean, it's clear because there's nothing there. So let's add our stuff back. Sink the hardness point one two and zero is a point one. And there we go. I don't remember which way I was doing it. Division, I mean, let me check. Number one was seven hundred and four. 20, 25, 25, and this was 500. Okay, so it looks weird for now. We're going to expand on that in a second. So we can just make this a little bit bigger. And so, ideally for a river, what you want is you want it to be flowing in one direction. So, before we set our forward axis to X, so it's on the X, and so we could just change. It's basically the same thing. You're just changing the normals, and changing the normals to go in that direction. So let's change that in here. For now, we're going to put this at zero. We're only going to have one. At least as I do it, if it's zero, make that one. And then Oh, specular, that's so why I can't see. Okay. So it's flowing the opposite direction, so we're doing negative one. And then make this like two, five. 
but it's flowing. It looks unnatural, but expected value is too high. And then it's flowing one direction. We can add the second one, make this negative 1.5. Make this like 500. Yeah. So we have the water like this, so we can just uh, we can just shape this up to how we want. So let's make a little little river real quick. Obviously, this should be better if it's actually river, but um, let's see. Just drag this here. What was it called? Uh, I forget what it was called. River tutorial, something like that. Find River VP. Make this like what? Ten. We just do twenty. Rotate that. Wait, why is the water flowing this way? That's easy fix. Oh, anyway, so. Put this up, it's since we went lower, it's basically transparent, so we can just make this 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So we see the water's flowing that way, so make that positive one and 1.5. Now it's flowing this way, so just hold down Alt on the second part on like the end hold on all and just drag it out to make a new section for your river and yeah and then we should still have distance fields so the rock A snowy rock in the water. <laughs> oh wait, we didn't we didn't set it. Let's make where our distance fields ripple amount fifty. That's way too hard, so twenty. Two Yeah. yeah anyways next video we're going to um next video we're gonna make um directed ripples so we're gonna have ripples on this side and then we can even add a little dip and a little dip around it so it looks sometimes a little more realistic and you can also use this for your lake mat and pond or whatever you want but yeah next video